Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm super excited for another first. We've got a box here all the way from Texas. This is a HEB themed box and I'm so excited because I've said before, I watch someone on YouTube, yep. he always goes on about HEB and all the exciting things you can get from there. So I'm so looking forward to this. Me too. I feel like we might have tried one or two things yeah. before from HEB, but this is an entire box of HEB chips. It's a supermarket that's in Texas as right. far as I'm aware, but a bit, oh. What? I'm having all these things going on in my head and I can't get them out. What? Anyway, HEB is from Texas, and I was just gonna say, although it's not a gas station or a petrol station, right. it's a proper supermarket, it gives Bucky's vibes, because I think they have a lot of their own stuff in all the categories, like loads of jerky, loads of oh. fresh food when you go, and they have brisket and all this kind of stuff. So let us know if you go mm. to HEB, is it solely HB, HEB products? Anyway, this wonderful box was sent to us by Leslie White, and she has included a note. Hi guys, just wanted to tell you how much I enjoy your channel. Found you during lockdown and haven't looked back since. Isn't That's that nice, awesome? Isn't yeah. I love that. I wonder if you've gone back to all of our old videos. There's plenty to watch, well, isn't there? I bet in lockdown, yeah, because... <laughs> you can watch everything. I order your candy box. <laughs> Go, Leslie. Yeah. Um, if anyone else would like to get one of our British candy boxes, we will leave a link down below for you. It's the best thing she's ever done. And if you order one, you will never regret it. <laughs> <laughs> she actually said, I order your candy box and enjoy sharing things with my middle school theatre students. They get such a kick out of trying things with me. Isn't that lovely? Yeah, that's really sweet. You share that with your theatre kids. The picture is from our Teacher of the Year banquet. Oh, did Leslie win Teacher of the Year? I was chosen Teacher of the Year on my campus last year. Well Woo! done, Leslie. That's a, that's a massive achievement. That's, that's amazing. amazing. And also, Leslie, I would like to say that can't have been easy being a teacher during COVID. Yeah. There's definitely lag on Zoom. So if you had to do Zoom lessons, yeah. could you imagine listening to a theatre group on Zoom? Yeah. You'd do your nutting. This is year 28 of teaching for me and I still love it. Hope you all enjoy the treats, Leslie White. And here is a photo of Leslie. Isn't she wonderful? Yeah. And congratulations congratulations on winning teacher of the year what would you like to crack into first you know what can i actually yeah go for it because i can see that these aren't mm. spicy so i think we need oh. to start somewhere like this also these bags are humongous yeah, these are huge, aren't they? and i love that What's everyone has something different 255 feel like that's a lot for a bag of crisps big bag h-e-b wavy that make by H-E-B in San Antonio. Leslie says these are yummy. Yeah, they sound it, amazing. I just love how everyone is different. So like this is Ridge. Yeah. That's wavy, waffle. I'm so excited. Oh, right, these are it says awesome. go Texan down here and 100% guarantee promise. If you aren't completely pleased with this product, we'll be happy to replace it or refund your money. So say child butt. Kind of looks like it. <laughs> well, it kind of looks like a butt. Sweet Onion, here at HEB, we take great pride in our products, especially the product we make ourselves. These wavy, perfectly crisp and flavorful potato chips are made by our very own partners in San Antonio. From our partners to your pantry, we hope you enjoy eating these chips as much as we enjoy creating them for you. Proudly cooking chips since 1989. Mm. Oh, smell nice, don't they? They look great too. Hello. Been a while since we've had like a full box worth of crisps. Oh, yeah. Cheers. Incredible. Mm. Wow. Mm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> wow. Great flavour. Over here in the UK, we have cheese and onion, which is very popular. Mm. When I first put it in, in my mouth, I was like, oh, they're kind of like cheese and onion. Yeah, they are about. But then the sweet kicked in. That sweet onion flavour is incredible. Mm. I love these so much. I think I'm going 12 out of 10. It's been a while since I've had that sweet onion flavour and anytime we've had it, I love it. I think it's a nine out of 10 for me. No, 12 no for me, that's fantastic. Oh, yeah. The wave you... is perfect. The amount of flavor on there is perfect. I love these. The wave is lovely, isn't it? The texture is great. Take them away. Take them away. Wow. Do you remember we had a uh, sweet onion mm -hmm. before? Maui sweet onion, weren't they? There's that, but we also had ones. It was called like the starters edition. It was like sweet onion soup. Can't remember if it was old Dutch from Canada. It was like in a black bag what? or it was from like Zaps in Philadelphia or something. Maybe, yeah, I seem to remember them. They're delicious. And I know that seems really crazy to start with that, mm. but looking around, I think they might be one of my favorite from this box. So I'm starting high. My yeah. favorites might be over there. Yeah, the purple bag. Mm. Should we go for these um, limited edition 
black pepper ketchup. Yes. They sound good, don't they? I also love the style of this bag. It's got a real Texas vibe to it with the stars at the top and yeah. something about the font, I think. So Leslie hasn't had these. She just says, looked good. Yeah. Yeah, the stars are definitely like, it's Texas, isn't it? We've had ketchup before, but never with black pepper. And these are limited edition, so. And the font is it. giving me like Western vibes. Yeah. And these are thin, thin potato oh, chips. Cool. They smell good, get your head in that. The black pepper could just elevate them from the other ketchup ones we've yeah. had, or it could make it worse. The ketchup ones we've had before are very on like one level. Well, you get that black pepper afterwards. Mm. Spicy. Yeah. It's funny, I wouldn't think like, oh, I'll put black pepper with ketchup, but that's really nice. And I think it's good. It's not like a really sweet ketchup either. No, it's a mature ketchup. Mm. Well, that's spicy. No, got a kick. Mm. When you smell them, they smell just like the other ketchup crisps. Mm. But I, if you were to give them to me, I don't think I would think they were ketchup. I can't really taste ketchup. I taste ketchup right at the very beginning. And, and then, then it's, it's definitely pepper. black pepper. They're nice, but I wouldn't pick these mm. over those. I think I'm going to give these just a seven out of 10. Yeah, I would definitely agree, yeah. yeah. Can we go for these garlic hatch? <laughs> I'm not going to say no. And why are they called hatch? Is it the... It's the little gaps, yeah. Are they called... It's a bit like those fries we had from Tim Hortons. Yeah, like They're waffle They're called waffle fries. fries, but you could also call that a hatch, yeah. couldn't you? So if you've noticed, we've got two bags that say this, Central Market. Right. I wonder what the difference is, because, you know, sometimes brands have these different kind of bags. And these are kettle cooked, waffle cut, Garlic hatch. I'm not yeah. sure I've ever had a kettle cooked waffle hatch. Dipped or stripped. Whether you like yours fully loaded or au natural, the bold flavors of roasted garlic and hatched chili pepper deliver a savory kick that's sure to excite. I know, I did see a little spicy thing at the front. Yeah. Think. There's, there was a little section in there that I thought Leslie could use as a tongue teaser. Yeah, kind of with like her students. Yeah, what was it? Central Market kettle cooked waffle cut potato chips. Yeah. <laughs> You know, buttery biscuit yeah. base. I feel like you could do it with that. Say that 10 times yeah. quickly. I think these are going to be spicier. Really? They smell spicy. These look more old school. They do. They've got kind of like a, um, a retro aesthetic. It has got a um, jalapeno on the front, but it doesn't say anything that about that on the front. Just as garlic. Unless hatch has something to do with the chili mm. part. Oh, yeah. But do they say hatch? These are just waffle cut. I think hatch, garlic hatch must be something. Mm. Uh -huh. A little bit, but not too bad. They remind me of something. Ooh. They remind me of the girl I once knew. See her face whenever I look at you. Oh, they are spicy. They are quite spicy. Can I just say, yeah. quite a few commented saying, you know, the serving suggestion. Mm. Sometimes it's also people expect those other things to be in there. <laughs> 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 so it's like they can then complain saying well mine didn't come with this or that yeah mine didn't come with any dip in it you said <laughs> you said there was dip i don't know whether those people are being serious yeah. or whether they're just like that's a loophole i'm gonna try exploit yeah it. maybe like why would you think that yeah i'm gonna have to give them a seven. Oh, actually i think they've got to go lower than these unfortunately yeah, me because too. i can eat these I, I had a few them. of those. I couldn't have many more. My mouth is burning. I think they've got to be a six. I think they're a six. It's a shame, well. but I think if you like kind of spicy stuff, you're going to love those. Yeah. I was just really looking forward to them being really nice and garlicky. But well, I thought, really yeah, hot. I thought they were like sour cream and garlic. Yeah. But they are spicy. So spicy. if you can't handle the heat, don't get those ones. Don't but I love the, the bite and I love the like the waffle. Yeah. Citrus and cayenne. I love this bag. Yeah. And this is a limited edition yeah, as well. Really looks like summer edition, doesn't it? Yeah. Look at the people enjoying a little swim. It's quite clever because it's like citrus, so they're in limes and lemons and orange. Yeah, that is clever. I'm worried these are going to be spicy though. Cayenne isn't too bad, is it? No, but there's like chilies there. The blue is just so beautiful. Cayenne is made from a chili, brown chili. The others smelled spicy, didn't it? Yeah. My mouth is still singing. Tingling, yeah. Cheers. Cheers. Mmm. Okay, let's see what. That is citrusy. Leslie says about the garlic hatch. Again, hope these aren't too spicy. They are. They're spicy enough to eat though. They're not. Oh yeah. Also, our dad would love these. Yes, yeah, citrus enough. and cayenne chips. Worried about the spice. Spice isn't too bad. The spice is less than the garlic mm. hatch. What is amazing about them though is how fresh mm. and zesty they are. 
It's so funny, like, mm. we really don't get zesty crisps over no. here. Oh, I just got the back. Might need a glass of milk. No, that's right. Probably wouldn't pick a pack of citrus crisps, mm. but there is something so nice and refreshing about them. They'd be nice, like, with a dip as well, don't mm, you think? Yeah. That's the thing. The citrus is kind of putting me off. You don't like it? I'm not really enjoying the citrus. I've never enjoyed any of the crisps we've had before where it's been something and citrus. Lime. Didn't we have Doritos or something? That yeah, had... and like Takis with lime. And... Yeah, but this has done something with them that makes it actually enjoyable. I think with the cayenne, it's a good combination. I think I'm sadly going to have to just give that like a six. Go. For me, they're similar to the ketchup and black pepper. Right, I'm They're going I'm going part. six. I like okay. how thin and wavy they are. It's just the citrus is not really doing it for Yeah, me. I love the cut. Yeah. Them. Really nice. Um, okay, right ho. Shall we go for jalapeno queso? Yes, let's do it. Uh, Leslie says, hope these aren't too spicy. <laughs> we'll see, because we'll I'm a We'll see, Leslie. I love the H-E-B logo. Yeah, looks good, doesn't it? And these are thin. Again, who decides? Okay, we're doing this in a wavy. They Maybe they go, okay, we've got an idea for a flavor. And yeah. then they put that flavor on like on all, of them. all of them. And they go, actually, it works best with this one. I think you could be right. I'm hoping this is more queso than jalapeno. You're jalapeno a pain. Jalapeno in my You're butt. Mmm. That's that queso I like. I enjoy jalapeno queso. Lovely, aren't they? Mm -hmm. There is a bit of spiciness to mm. them, but it's... I'm getting that now. Kind of faint and in the background. <laughs> the flavour, though, is much nicer. Those, even though they are spicy and have an aftertaste, in the right mood, I can actually have spicy crisps because I kind of like having my mouth numbed. <laughs> and then you just like eat it. But with that, I think I would need a dip. Yeah, that'd be nice. Just to cool it down, like a creamy uh, sour cream and onion. Really love the queso bit. The jalapeno is a bit too spicy. Like my my tongue is literally numb at the moment. Tingling. It's like, is it it's literally it's like, past it's like having a party in there. It's mm. like, effervescent. Like that. Yeah. Flavor wise, I'm giving them like a seven and a half, eight out of 10. But because they're spicy, I'm just giving them a seven. I'm going to give them an eight. Are they okay that you carry on eating? They're, they're like just the right amount that I could carry on eating. In some ways, it's when you stop. That's the problem. Yeah. But, you don't um, notice it. But. Yeah. I think I, I could eat those. Is Texas known for being quite spicy? I think so. Because we've got, they're spicy. They were spicy. They were spicy. They had a kick well, to And especially them. with them being from San Antonio, oh, is there's like yeah. a lot of Mexican influences and... Well, you know, hence Mexican the citrus food's quite as well. hot, isn't it? Now, are these buffalo ones gonna be like yeah, buffalo I have a feeling, spicy? Hot wings, yeah. <sighs> Leslie says, haven't had these, but they looked good. Find it interesting how she's not mentioned about these being hot. No. <laughs> that photo definitely gives me hot vibes. Hot vibes. Because like buffalo mayonnaise is like spicy, isn't it? Yeah, and buffalo hot wings. The more I breathe out, the hotter it gets. You feel like the dragon from Shrek. Yeah. My tongue's getting a bit sore, actually. So is mine, actually. Mmm. They're like creamy to you. Yeah. Is there spice? Is that spice or is it the residual? No, I think it's like tomato-y. I think that could still just be the jalapeno I think there's spicy. a little bit of spice. <laughs> there is. Oh, there is spice, yeah. Oh, oh. But the flavour is mm. so nice. In some ways, even nicer than the jalapeno queso. Yeah. Mm. It's funny because you get like a tomato-y tang and then that leads into spice. They're dangerous though, because that's a lovely flavor. Mm -hmm. They're probably the best buffalo flavor I've ever had. Mm. Oh dear. Last one. <sighs> and I know I shouldn't be drinking water. Oh, do you know what? I swear people have said they bread. Have, yeah. Definitely works. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I feel like as soon as I've put it on my tongue, it's definitely that taking it down a notch, yeah. Don't you think? Mm -mm. No. Mm -mm. Well, Try putting it like... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, that, that definitely taken away. <laughs> nice bit of bread. Because you had a nice half a piece of bread. I think they are actually going second. Even though they are spicy, they for me are going under the sweet onion. No, I think I still prefer the jalapeno queso. Really? Yeah. They're an eight. They're they're an eight for me. Mm. Eight and a half. Yeah, I really like them. Last but not least, Al. Never tried these. 
Right, well, here we go, I'm Leslie. Sure to let you know, Leslie. Black Truffle. As a self certified black truffle lover, I'll let you know. My nickname around here is just Truffle Pig. <laughs> <laughs> Crunchy. Mm. Mm. Oh, this is so much crunchier than those Way patch ones. Mm. Wow. These are really nice. These are some of the best truffle crisps I've ever had. I don't think I've ever had wavy truffle crisps. No. And they're, they're usually so like crunchy. oily, normal potato crisps. Yeah. This situation is so good. You know those Walker squares? It's kind of giving that crunch. Mm. As if it's like a puff that's been really yeah. crunched. It tastes a bit like a Munchito mm. has been flattened down, made into a waffle. Okay, these are really good. They're not just Salt black up. truffle. There's definitely like salt in there. I'd imagine so. All of these, although they don't say are seasoned, I could just sit here and eat these all day. Yep. If you enjoy black truffle, Leslie, definitely get these. These mm. are delicious. If you <laughs> want to know if you like black truffle, I think these are a good one to start with. Yeah. Sometimes you can in get really face, much. Yeah. You know, if you have like a truffle pasta, mm. sometimes it can be too truffly. These are perfect. I think they're going second though still. They're a 10 for me though. They're a 12. Black truffle are... Yeah, let's give them a 10. They're the best black truffle crisps I think I've had. These are definitely a 10 and these are a 9 for me. Yeah. And last but not least in this box, we have chocolate banana bread pecans. Ooh, these sounded so good. I feel like this is a product we would absolutely never get Never here. get here. So that's exciting, isn't it? So they're banana bread Pecans covered no. in milk chocolate. Pecans. Yeah. Pecans. Not something you pee into. <laughs> we use this. Chocolate. Not this. Chocolate with hydrogenated oils added. We use this. Sugar and corn syrup. Not this. High fructose corn syrup. We use this. Pecans. Not this. PPO treated pecans. We use this. Cocoa butter. Not this. Polyglycerol polyrisinolate. We use this. Vanilla extract. Not. There's nothing there. Nothing there. Oh, I guess they use it instead of not using it. Oh yeah. But <laughs> where is the banana bit? I'm still not 100% sure what these are going to be like in there. I think they're literally just milk chocolate covered pecans. Are they? That I just think so. taste a bit banana bready. I think so. They smell banana-y. But do. nowhere said banana. Hand out. Cheers. Which was a pecan? Yeah. I'm pretty sure. What did yours taste like? Banana bread. Well, they're actually in some ways more like banoffee pie. Mm. Wow. Mm. How have they done that? They soak them. It's mm. soft. Yeah. Wow, that's delicious. When you first have one, it's like a slightly strange flavour. It's so good, isn't it? That's the best pecan I've ever had. Mmm. I don't like pecans. I don't know how they've done it because there's nowhere that says banana. Yeah. Right? That tastes like banana. Oh. It's the natural flavour. They just haven't they said They don't it have to it. specify what it is. Mmm. That's so good, isn't it? I enjoyed that. Mm. The chocolate's good too. That's literally the best pecan I've ever had. And also, I think it's one of the best, like, chocolate-covered nuts. We've ever had. Yeah, because we've had ones before in the past that say, oh, this flavour, and you're a bit like, mm. still basically a nut, whereas you almost don't know there's a nut in there. It tastes so good. I would never pick these up because mm. I would think it's literally just a pecan covered in chocolate, but this, for once, actually does what it says. Yeah. It tastes like banana bread. It tastes like I'm actually having banana yeah, bread. banana bread. Pecans covered, covered in, in milk, milk chocolate. chocolate. So it's not the chocolate. It's the pecan. Pecan. It's a pecan. 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 I feel pecan. like pecan. Mo Moira Rose. Oh, on the, creek. <laughs> the birds. <laughs> the birds of ice. The birds of ice. Part two three. or something. They are Sorry, delicious. They are incredible. If we could get them here, I'd be getting yeah. them. Because yes, I know it's covered in that. chocolate, but it's still good to have pecan. Mm. Pecan. What if it means you get some pecans. <laughs> pecan. Pecan, pecan. Literally the best. A five, six, seven. <laughs> Treat of the week. Treat of the week. And do you know what's so funny? Considering we had all those crisps. Yeah, are you picking and that? And there was black truffle crisps, which I am in love with. <laughs> I'm gonna go for these. Yeah, and that's why I was so eager. These are a 12 out of 10. Yeah, oh, yeah, we didn't get, score. No. Sorry, I was so eager. But if you had, it would have given it away. Exactly. These are my treat of the week. 
even if I was possibly going for the black truffle, which I could have done, mm-hmm. it's quite close between them. I think because we've never had anything like never. this that was so good. I think this a has to be chocolate covered nut being that good. Yeah. And I was really like, oh, is that my treat of the week? But if it wasn't for these, yeah. I think that would definitely be my treat of the week. I reckon that one of those after these would be fantastic. But you know, I'll say that for another day. Yeah. But these are fantastic. If you are near a HEB, definitely pick these up. Even if you're not like the biggest fan of pecans, pecans, <laughs> definitely go pick them up because I would not sit there and eat that many nuts, but no. I really enjoyed that. You've probably that. eaten half that bag already. Yeah, I think so. Leslie, they were fantastic and yeah. I'm so glad you put those in. If, has Leslie tried them? She didn't say. No, she just said, ooh, these sounded so good. You yeah. need to get you them. You need to get a stash of these in your drawer at work. Mm-hmm. That's the thing, especially if you think they sound on. good. It shows you like pecans. So definitely get them. They were phenomenal. Phenomenal. And a 12 out of 10 for me too. Yeah, I absolutely loved it, did you? I did. I may have got my mouth blown off, <laughs> but it was worth it in the end for it was, these. It was a journey for the senses. It was. And thank you, Leslie, for sending us such an awesome selection. Yeah. It really has been amazing getting to try all these flavours. And this is actually only part one of Leslie's box. We have another delicious box full of more sweet items. So stick around because that will be coming very soon. But Leslie, thank you so much for sending us such an incredible box. We will be sending you a box back. Yes, Leslie says that she shares her box that she gets every month from us with her students, which is very kind of her. That's so lovely. Yep. So we're going to send her a big old box that a she bigger can box back. share with the whole yep. class um, and really get everyone to try everything and give them lots of different yep. options and multiple of things. Yeah, so hopefully you guys enjoyed that. But if you'd like to get yourself a British candy box, we'll leave a link down below. Yeah, and now on our website, if you didn't know, not only do we have subscription on one-off boxes, we've also got one-off items. So you can yep. buy individual items and put your own little box together if you wish. It's been very popular lately with people getting to try Double Deckers and Capri's Dairy Milk and all different stuff. Also, our very popular Christmas chocolate tubs are back. They're the Heroes, the Quality Streets and the... Roses. roses they're on our website now so get them while you can and this is like a soft launch because it's Definitely not it's like soft-lit. officially christmas no. stuff yet but they've snuck onto the website and you can get them for your um thanksgiving oh yeah but anyway we hope you guys enjoyed watching that and we'll see you soon bye guys see ya